hello guys welcome to nita crochets my name is anita today i'm going to be sharing with you how to make a mesh beach cover-up it's very simple the only tricky part is um making the increase out of the mesh stitch and that is literally what we are going to be um getting to know today because in most cases you people find a hard time like i don't know how to make an increase and i don't know how to make a decrease when i'm working with mesh so today I'm going to be sharing that with you and to get started I'm going to be working with Robin 100% acrylic it's 50 grams so I'm going to be using two strands the reason as to why I usually work with uh, this lightweight yarn is because whenever I'm working with beach cover-ups bikinis swimsuits I usually work with this lightweight yarn and when I'm working with um, full coverage skirts and full coverage tops or tops for uh, extra size people I usually work with the other chunky yarn so this is the reason as to why I work with this but if you have the other 100 grams yarn you can use that if you want to <coughs> I'm going to be working with a six millimeter hook and then you'll need some scissors so let's get started we are going to start off with a knot like this And once you have your knot, you are going to get your hook. And now I'm going to be sharing how many chains one should make. So, um, if you're making for size small, you're going to chain 70. Please make sure you're not chaining too tight. If you're a tight crocheter, that means you'll need to find a bigger hook or work with bigger hooks. You get it? If you're a very, very much loose crocheter, I, I advise you go all the way down to a 5.5 or 5 millimeter hook. But you, if you're in between tight and loose, you can work with a 6 millimeter hook. So um, for size small, you're going to chain 70. For size medium, you're going to chain 90. For size large, you're going to chain 110. And for size extra large, you're going to chain 130. The reason as to why I am not telling you to chain whichever number of chains that can go all the way around your hips is because we are going to make an increase to meet the hip size so you just change the number of chains i'm telling you but just make sure you're not a tight crocheter so for me i'm making size small so i'm going to chain 70. <coughs> one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. So once you have um, the total number of chains you have, you have to make sure you are on the right side of your chains, all right? So once you have the number of chains that you uh, have to have, you are going to work a slip stitch in the very first chain that we started with, like this. So right away, you're going to chain four, one, two, three, four. Yarn over, skip this next uh, chain stitch and into the next chain stitch, you're going to work a double crochet chain one skip the next chain stitch and into the next you work a double crochet chain one skip this into the next you work a double crochet so you see uh the reason as to why i said um you shouldn't be too tight is your chains should be in position to do this expand a little bit so chain one
skip this stitch and work a double crochet in the next chain one skip this and into the next you work a double crochet chain one skip this into the next you work a double crochet chain one into the next stitch skip skip one stitch and into the next you work a double crochet chain one skip this into the next you work a double crochet chain one skip this and into the next you work a double crochet chain one skip this into the next you work a double crochet chain one skip the next stitch into the next you work a double crochet chain one skip one into the next you work a double crochet chain one skip one into the next you work a double crochet <coughs> so literally you're just going to do this on and on and on and on until you get to the end of your row so let me just walk you guys there This is a very simple, um, one of the simplest. I believe even a beginner can just wake up one day and make something for themselves because this is a very simple, simple stitch pattern to follow. So chain one into the next. It may look small, like you can see, it really looks small but for a person that is extra small it will fit perfectly if you are not confident about the result you're getting you can add a few more chains just so that you don't be like oh Anita gave us the wrong measurements or something those are measurements that work for me if they don't work for you you need to adjust you just don't have to be so confident in what I say because I am human as you are and sizes of people in every country differ so you can try to adjust accordingly given what you want but put it in mind that whichever adjustment you're making you don't have to make a size that fits um, that is the same as your hips because if you make a size that is the same as your hips and we have to also make an increase along the way that means you're going to get a loose fitting skirt and that's not what we want your beach cover up to look like so make adjustments where you feel you are confident that this is going to work for what we are trying to do So I've come to the end and I've chained one. So I am going to um, slip stitch into the third chain stitch from the four chains that I started with. So this is what I have, okay? So I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. So um, you're going to turn your work like this and then work um, a double crochet in this um, onto this double crochet of the previous row you're going to work a double crochet like that so chain one and onto the double crochet of the previous row you're going to work a double crochet chain one onto the next double crochet of the previous row you're going to work a double crochet chain one work a double crochet onto the next double crochet of the previous row and that's how you're going to do on and on you chain one and work a double crochet on the next double crochet of the previous row so you see what we are getting please just make sure you are turning um 
you're going ground like you don't have to work on one side when you when you're starting the next row you need to make to work your chains and then turn your work but if you work on just one side it's going to give you this um this ending line to which you slip stitch in it's going to be going like this and i want it to go straight all right that is why i keep telling you chain and then turn your work work your chains and then turn your work just go on like that chaining one and working right into the double crochet of the previous row and do that when you get into this you're going to work your double crochet chain one and slip stitch into the third chain stitch from the hook all right so i'm going to let you do that until you have a total number of three rows so we had our first row done second row complete halfway okay now you're going to finish this and then just add one more row and from there we are going to start our increase and that's why i'm going to meet you and show you how to work the increase so um i've finished my two rows uh, sorry my three rows and i understand this really looks like a baby's skirt but i just want to make a few measurements as you can see from left to right i have like 10.5 inches so that means all the way around it will be 21 inches all right so if it is 21 of course i know that can be someone's waist more so someone that is extra small so um I just want to measure for you because I'm working with a six millimeter hook and I understand it really gives an enormous stretch. So I'm just going to stretch this out so I get to see where I end up. And right here when I stretch it, when I stretch it, you can see it is most likely to end up at like 15 inches okay so let's say it is most likely to end up at like 15 inches let me say 15 all right so um if i fold up 15 it gives me a total of 30 inches all right and i believe 30 inches for a very small person it is enough for it to go all the way down through your arms all right even through your your hips so um, I'm going to start working the increase so I'm going to get here and I'm going to chain four all right this was the outside so this is the inside so that means I'm turning my work and working on the opposite side now um, I'm, I started with 70 chains, so it gives me about um, 35 boxes, and I want to divide 35 by 2. That gives me about um, 16 and a half. So um, to start off, right here, I'm going to chain, I've already chained 4, and into this very same stitch, I am going to work a double crochet. So that's for my increase. I'm going to chain 1 into the next i work a double crochet so i'm counting that this is my first one one two remember i have 16 and a half that means 16. that means in the 16th box is where i'm going to work an increase so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 
13, 14, 15, 16. All right. So in the 16, it's still, I'm going to chain one and work a double crochet in that very same stitch. Okay. So I have my very first increase complete. Remember we are increasing hip, left hip and right hip. I see some people working increases everywhere and that's not really perfect because at the end of the day, I feel like I want my mesh to be running line by line. Like if this is the line, it has to go all the way straight, all the way up to down. So the increments are more so likely to be in the hips, not like everywhere, you know. So um, I'm going to chain one and keep working one double crochet on top of the previous double crochet until I get to the end right here. Remember, I started with an increase here, so I already have my second increase and my first increase. So just work all that up to here, and I'm going to show you how to work your second row of increase, and then show you how to like maneuver all that, and then we can see how to work the waistband. So I have um, my first row of increase complete, and I'm going to chain four and turn my work okay and into this um you can see my increase remember i was working heading this side so my increase is on this side and this time i am working to this side so in this very first um double crochet i'm going to work one double crochet chain one and work one double crochet chain one work one double crochet, chain one, work one double crochet. So I'm just going to continue all that until I get to um, the stitch in which I worked an increase. And there I am going to um, work an increase again because I usually tell you guys when I am increasing, I increase um, for two rows. And still when I am decreasing, I decrease for two rows. If you just work one row of increase and then one normal row and then one row of increase, you're going to have a rapid increment. And that's not how a natural body looks like or it doesn't even work that way. So um, I'm approaching my stitch in which I worked an increase and it's right here. So let me just work this. Now I am here. Right into this stitch. Okay. You can see this is a V. So right into this very first stitch, I am going to chain one and work the second double crochet in there. So I have my second increase. Okay. And now I'm going to chain one and work a double crochet in the next stitch and just keep working one double crochet into every stitch until I get back to the very first increase that I I saw but did not work towards it because this row had to work anti-clockwise, not the other way around. So so we get there as well and work an increase. You can still count through, you will see that you already have an increase, or you can just count. If you had 16 that in the 16th stitch, the next row you will increase in the 17th. So I'm approaching that part. And it's right here so I'm going to chain one and work a double crochet into that stitch and chain one again and work a double crochet in the very same stitch and then chain one and then slip stitch into the third chain stitch from the hook sorry from the four the single crochet from the four chains that we started with so I'm going to chain four 
and turn my work now for the next two rows you're going to work two normal rows without working any increase all right so just chain four and work a double crochet right here chain one work a double crochet and just go on like that until you come to the end work one chain and then slip stitch into the third chain stitch from the four that we started with of this row do the same for the next row because i just want two normal rows and then two rows of increase two normal rows and two rows of increase so work your two normal rows and i'm going to meet you on the next increase and i'll help you do that then i'll leave you to work the full length of the skirt so um this is where i am i finished work my two normal rows and now i'm going to chain four and turn my work i have my four already so um turn my work and work a uh, double crochet in this very first stitch as you can see this is where the increment is so i have to go all the way around make an increase right in the middle and then come back and then meet the increase all right so um from here you count one two this is the third all right this is more like the third um stitch or box the third box so just keep counting you chain one and this is my fourth this is my fifth six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So, um, from the look of things, I have counted all my boxes and I have forty of them. I don't know how many you have, so whichever you have, as long as you followed what I said whichever you have you're on the right track so i have 20 that means in the 20th box is where i make a, um, an increase so i'm going to chain one and work a double crochet in this very same stitch chain one and work a double crochet in the next stitch so i'm going to go on and on now i'm going to count again until i have my 20 and in the 20th is where i'm going to work an increase so just go on and on One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Oh, sorry. Eleven. I forgot to chain. 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 just to be sure 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 and now into this very same stitch i am going to work another double crochet chain one double crochet 
So just to show you how in line it is with the increments we have been making, this is where we started the increase and this was our second and these have been two normal rows and you can see this is where the increase is. So you're going to chain one and work a double crochet in the next stitch and then chain one and work a slip stitch in the third chain stitch from the four that we started with. So um, chain four and turn your work. Work a double crochet into this very first double crochet of the previous row, chain one, and work a double crochet in the next. So you can see. Um, that means I have to work my increase in this one here. So I'm going to chain one. And work the increase again, because remember I told you you have to work two rows of increase and two normal rows. So I've made another increase, as you can see. So just keep working these boxes until you get to the stitch where you made an increase. Right here. And work an increase. After you have made your increase on this row, your second increase on this row, you're going to keep working the boxes until you get where you have to slip stitch to start the next row. And the next row, you are going to work two normal rows. If you are confident with um, the width that you have, let me just show you. Uh, it was initially 10.5 and now it is 13, all right? So um, 13, Thirteen can stretch up to eighteen, okay. So literally, if the person is thirty-six in the hips, yes, thirty-six. That means you're on track. If the person is thirty-six in the hips and they are very small, you can stop at this increment. But if you don't feel like, um, you feel like you need just one more increase i usually advise you make three increments of a skirt and we have um one the first increment this being our second so for chances being that it is going to go all the way down without having a slit you know that just down below it's going to be like a little bit small because someone has to walk so to leave room for the person to walk you are going to work this increase finish it work two normal rows and increase again that means you're increasing the third time so increase the third time two rows of increase and then work two normal rows and from there you're just going to work normal rows until you finish off your skirt to the length that you want so let me just share the number of rows you have to make so um you're going to work three increments like I've been sharing with you. And after your third increase, you're going to work 35 normal rows. And 35 normal rows is going to give you a full length of the skirt that I want you guys to make. That's a very long, a long skirt, not very long, but a long skirt. And after you have your 35 rows of increase, you will cut your yarn now you will come to your waist like this just find somewhere to start from but that should be at the back just find any point insert your hook and just work two chains and now work a double crochet in this stitch and work a double crochet into the stitch in which there is a double crochet of the very first row work a double crochet in the gap work a double crochet on top of the first double crochet row oh. into the gap you work one double crochet and onto this you work a double crochet into the gap you work one double crochet and right here you work one double crochet so you're going to go on and on until you back here where you're going to work a slip stitch and you have your waistband complete 
and you will add um, a string just to lace up and I'll be confident that you have your mesh skirt ready I'm just going to show you my mesh skirt that I already completed just to give you an overview of what it has to look like so this is my mesh skirt and this was particularly for a size medium and I had my 90 stitches all around and you can see it also looks small just like you see this one this is a measurement I gave you for a size small you see where it, where it stops and this is for a size medium so you see the sort of like difference and this has already shown size of stretching it has already stretched up to 40 because I was making for someone that has 40 hips 40 inches of the hips and it has already stretched just perfectly like I wanted it to and it also has stretched perfectly what I wanted for um, the bottom so literally someone has room to walk and walk very well so um, like I said you make three increments those are six rows of increase and from every increment you work two normal rows until you get to the third third um, increment those are two rows of the increase of the third time and after that you'll work 30, 35 rows 35 normal rows until down here come back up here work your double crochets and have your string pass through them like this so you can have your tassels i have a tutorial already about um, a tassel bralette so you can go check that out to see how you can work your tassels and have them look perfectly and i look forward to seeing all of you tagging me when you make your creation i hope it turns out well and i hope you have learned how to make an increase when you're working with the mesh stitch let me see you all in my next tutorial thank you for watching goodbye